Hey everyone, I'm going to teach you how to Zen Tangle. Um, it's a really cool um, practice of using patterns and um, black spaces and white spaces to fill in a shape of some sort. And it's really, really easy to do. All you need to do is you need to know how to make a dot and a line, a curve, an S shape and an orb. To fill in the spaces it's really really easy so what you get need to get started is you need a sharpie um, normally I use a really really fine sharpie but for this so that you can see I'm going to just use a normal sharpie if you haven't got one of those you could use just a pen or a pencil or you could also use a felt tip you need some, a piece of paper and what we're going to do to start is actually just put four dots in each corner and to create a square. So I'm just going to put four dots. And then we're going to do a line from each dot to make our square. So you'll be able to see that this is the one I made earlier. That's it. It's a different shape to the one I've just made. Then you want to divide the square into about four pieces and it could be in any way, shape or form. So I'm going to do four lines. Well, actually I'm going to do three lines. So you might not be able to see that. Oh yeah. And the first one I'm going to teach you is this shape here. So it is just a whole different selection of orbs and you want to fill in the whole space with different orbs or circles. They don't have to be perfect because Zentangle isn't perfect and there's no mistakes with it. So we're just filling up the whole space with circles or orbs and if you want to you could make half orbs that go along the edge you could do big orbs little orbs so I'm going to fill in that whole space and then after you've filled in the whole space we're just going to do we're just going to put a little dot in the centre So I'm just going to pause that for the moment, or you can pause that, so that while you're doing yours, you can um, finish and we'll get started again. Hi, so I've finished my space, and you can either decide to keep it white like that, or you can actually fill in the whole background and colour in the background to make the white space, make the orbs stand out. So you're just colouring in all the space behind the orb. This will make it pop from your piece of paper. Remember when you're using a sh Sharpie, always have some protective paper underneath your um, original paper to protect the tables. And if you go over your orb a little bit, that's okay. It'll just change the shape of your orb just ever so slightly, because remember with Zentangle there's no mistakes, it's pretty easy to do. So you can continue on colouring in the background to make your orbs pop. So we're just going to pause there and while you finish yours. Okay, so we're back again. I'm going to teach you another um, shape now. I'm going to teach you this nice easy one here, lines and spots. So choose another part of your artwork, another space in your artwork. I'm going to put mine right beside the um, spots here. So what you've got to do is just do a straight line, it could be vertical, straight up and down, or it could be horizontal, it could be diagonal, whichever way it takes you, it's easy and fun. So I'm just going to do my lines, I'm going to start at the top of my shape, and I'm going to do nice lines all the way across, and you can touch the other one. So as you can see, I'm making my lines, I'm just going to go all the way down. You can put them closer together or you can put them further apart, it's up to you. 
I've got mine about a centimeter apart. Right, so the next bit, so I've done my shape. I'm going to put some spots now. And if you can see, I've started with a single spot at the top because of the peak of the triangle there. And I'm doing spots there. And now I'm going to put some spots on the next line in between those spaces. So you keep on going all the way down, nice and easy. Cool fun, filling in the, all of the spaces with different patterns. And we'll leave it there, have a pause while you finish yours. Okay, back again. So here's mine, I've finished all of my spots and my lines. So we've got two more spaces to fill. So we're going to do this one here. And it looks a bit tricky, but it's actually not. So what we're going to do is choose a space. And what we're going to do is like ladybird bumps around the edge of your artwork. So we're going to put a ladybird bump and another bump. I'm going to turn my paper so it makes it easier for me. So I'm going to go all the way around. And the next step is to actually colour in your ladybird bumps, so make them black. So once you've done them all, what you're ending up is you're going to have lots of black bumps around the edge of your artwork, like that. So, I'm going to show you how to do the lines above. So, what you're going to do is you're going to start on the edge and just go over the bump, leaving a little white space in between. And if, so you're going to go up and bump and over so that you get a little wee line just on the outside. So now we're going to do it again and make another line and down and you might get to a space where you can't get any further because there is a space it's touched another shape so what you're going to do then is you're going to actually sort of do a tennis ball bounce so you're going to go right over and then bounce because you can't get down to the edge again and bounce and bounce and you're going to keep on going around, creating the lines. And when you get to the middle, you keep on going in and bouncing all the way around. Bounce, bounce. You end up with some little shapes right in the centre. Give it a go. Have fun. So, did you fill in the space? So I filled in all of mine. So now there's only one space to go. So I'm going to teach you this one here and we're going to actually use the Sharpie and a pen. So the first thing we're going to do is actually do some lines. And I'm going to go in an opposite direction to this, so I'm going to go vertical. So I'm going to do some equal lines, stripes all the way across my page. Filling in that space. So you end up with some stripes like this. So the next bit that we're going to do is we're going to pick up our pen and in between every second line we're going to do a thin stripe. So we're going to do a thin stripe, then miss a a space and a thin stripe and miss a space. So you end up with thick and thin lines. Then in the between we're going to make some colour um, some black squares. So I'm just doing two two lines across and then colouring it in black. So I'm 
just doing two lines across and then just filling it in black. Okay, all yours. Okay, back again. Um, you've finished your artwork. It looks fantastic. I've put an extra few details in the orbs up here by using a, the thin pen. I've just put some wheel spokes lines out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed Zentangle. Give it a go. Um, there's some other things that you could do. I created this apple and I think it looks really fantastic. And an elephant. And I might make another video and show you how to do those. Cool. Thanks. Keep safe, everyone. Yeah.